All right, everybody, day six. It is about 7.30, a little bit later start than usual, but that's okay. We're not stopping for breakfast. Going from Wabasha to Lansing, Iowa. I'm um, taking about four miles off the trip, so I'll be going about 95 miles instead of 99. <clears throat> and we will definitely try to stop at the uh, state line to get a big picture as we cross into a new state. Talk to you later. Bye. If you bicycle 13 mile an hour on average, you can eat lunch by 1.30. If you bicycle 15 miles per hour on average, you can eat lunch by 12.30. You start off with two good pillows. You leave a pillow at a hotel a day ago. You're down to one pillow. Here it comes. Almost to Iowa. Keep coming, Joe. I see you cross into Iowa. Woo! Woo! Keep going! Hey everybody, we have made it to Lansing, Iowa. I just had a humongous pizza. Didn't eat all of it. Taco pizza. I had three Diet Pepsis. I don't know if I've had three Diet Pepsis in the last 10 years. I'm with have you. I? I don't think so. I don't think so. I've never known you to drink Diet Pepsis. No, I had three of them. It was so good. So good. I brought some pizza home. I'm going to eat here in a second. But uh, so we're, next... staying, we're staying in a historic building. Yeah, we're in a historic building. Yes, we're on the third floor. Right on the river. Steep steps, yep. no elevator. That's fun. I should get a shot of the river if I can. Oh, I, I think I took a picture. But, oh, that's yeah. right, you did. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Um, so today, Mitch and I kind of hung out. He helped me with some continuing ed. I haven't finished it yet. Um, on restorative yoga. So That sounds awesome. It, Hey, it's about relaxing. Tell you what, I'm about ready for some yoga. Yeah, what sort of yoga you'd really like? Well, it was because it would restore me. <laughs> right, and um, we met Joe. We went to this overlook, and we drove, and we drove, and we drove. Then we got to the parking lot, and then you had to hike, and it's like, no, we're eating, no, we're was, done. That was a disaster. Dirt road. It was not. not That's cool. where we ended up having lunch. You always told yeah. the segments. The, the mathematical deep thoughts. Yes. Yeah. Yep. So on our way south, Mitch and I stopped at an overlook, and he tried to look through those telescope things. things. Yeah. Yeah. It did not work very well for him. And um, we just continued driving, stopped at the Iowa state line, and uh, he did not help me carry up the luggage. Which I don't appreciate. You're, at talking, all. you're talking about Mitch. Mitch, right. Okay, because I have to carry up stuff. Okay. Yeah, we well, are here, but you aren't here. So, yeah. Well, Mitch is right. get, getting a little lazy. He um, is. He is. He wants to go to the pool tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. let's do that. Yeah. Let, let's, yeah. let's give him all the pool he wants. Right, right. Yeah. But, so it was kind of a laid back day. Just enjoyed the fresh breeze and the beautiful scenery. Yeah, so yes. was there any other pictures you need to explain? Isn't there a picture of a dinosaur? Oh, yes. Sinclair gasoline. Um, my grandpa, when my mom was a little girl, ran a Sinclair gasoline station. And I didn't realize they were still around. And so there was a Sinclair dinosaur. So Mitch wanted, you know, we needed a photo op there. So, um, yeah, so that was really pretty cool. My mom was pretty excited that there are still Sinclair gas stations okay. around. Okay, all right. Yeah. Any other pictures you need to explain? I don't think so. If not, if 
They can just make up a story about them. All right. That's fine. Well, you'll see the pictures at the end of this uh, at the end of this vlog. Um, did make the 95 mile trip. Um, tomorrow is we're going from Lansing, Iowa to Dubuque. We're excited about going to Dubuque. So we're in a small river town, right? And it's hard to find good places to eat. Everything, pretty much everything's a bar and grill. Everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we're going to Dubuque tomorrow. Uh, I got to make a choice between two routes, so I'm working on that. Do you take the longer route that's flat, or the shorter route that has some hills? So I got to think through that. Uh, I'll make that decision later on tonight. Uh, but it's going to be somewhere around 92 miles, I think, tomorrow, depending on which route I take. Uh, but we're excited about getting to Dubuque. All right. So there's. So we'll give you pictures on Kim. And I uh, hope you enjoyed our new segment today, the Mathematical Thoughts. Well, we'll probably do more of those. And now it's time for... Da -da -da -da! Things that are no longer living on the road. <laughs> it never stops being funny. All right, it's time for What Was That Dead Thing? Here we go. Okay, everybody. Hope you can hear me okay. Um, it was kind of a weird setup here. So this is a great Airbnb, but um, kind of weird trying to set up for a video. Got the air, got the fire extinguisher in the back, just in case. No, just in case. Whatever. Okay, whatever. So, what was that dead thing? Um, it was actually kind of like overwhelming today. I was really disappointed in all the carelessness of. The wildlife um, just a lot I'm gonna go with the numbers real quick and I'll send them to the send them to my this is my left yeah it's my left it's my left it's like right and uh, go over the numbers real quick um, you're gonna be surprised again I the shock value has not worn off for me um, birds 24 birds I saw 24 dead birds just today. I'll get back to that in a second. Next came eight UFOs. I mean, there was a UFO. I don't know. It was it was as flat as I've ever seen an animal before. It was flat. I have no idea what it was. Six coons, five deer, three frogs. Um, of course, if you have frogs, you have to have a snake, right? First snake. It's on my first snake today. That was kind of exciting. Um, two possums. So that's, there's another first, right? We haven't had possums yet? I don't think so. Two possums. Um, turtles did come back again. There were no turtles yesterday, but we did turtle. Two turtles today. Um, and a squirrel. And you are not going to believe this. Two fish. Two fish. Two fish. The shock, like I said, the shock value hasn't worn off. Or maybe someone can write comments in this to, to let me know why this is happening. Uh, why are there fish on the road? Or is this like people just throwing fish out in the road? And these aren't small fish. I mean, all the, all the fish I've seen were at least eight inches, at least. The one I saw today was like a carp. I bet it was at least a foot. So I don't know, are people just dumping fish on the road, or is, is something else happening? A bird's dropping it? I don't think it's a bird, because in every single case, the fish was in the burn. Like, I had to dodge it. So, so it feels like someone's just throwing fish out their window. I almost feel like someone's playing a practical joke on me. It's weird. It's weird. Now, back to the birds. When I first started this... I wasn't going to count the birds because I, I just felt like I was going to see a lot of birds. I don't want to be, I'm trying to ride my bicycle 90 miles a day. I'm not really wanting to try to get overwhelmed counting birds. So I thought about not counting birds. But then I realized birds are a great reminder of what? Birds are a great reminder of the importance of road safety. And so when you see a lot of birds, it's a reminder to make sure you're careful when on the roads. A little known fact about the birds. Uh, you've, heard the fur, you've heard the term uh, bird brain? Let me give you a history on the term bird brain. 
started back in the mid mid 1900s. It used to be all the roads were dirt. When it rained, the worms would come out on the road because it was all dirt, and birds would be all over the place eating worms. In the mid 1900s, though, the cars got faster, the roads got paved. Now, as 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 you know, transit evolved, the birds didn't. And even to this day, birds think they can just go on the roads and find worms. That's not the way it works now. Now you got cars on 70, 80, 90 mile an hour on a highway, birds get squashed. Uh, the birds did not evolve their, their, their road safety um, standards along with mass transit system. And because of that, we, we, we evolved the term bird brain. We call people bird brains. It means that they do not evolve the times. So that's a little known fact. Um, you kids out there, uh, please know that all these little known facts, almost all of them, almost all of them, go back to road safety instructions or um, reminders. Uh, a lot of people don't know that. Uh, and we'll cover more of this, um, I'm sure, in the days ahead. So those were the day's stats. And so, uh, so yeah, that was a long list. And I'm going to put up the totals here in a second. Um, so you take a look. And, uh, of course, you know what the most important stat is. Zero bicyclists, zero river otters. Zero river otters. I'm very proud of that. Mitch is very proud of that. Um, his helmet pretty much tells it all. He, he, he wears that thing nonstop. We have to make him take it off to take pictures because, you know, it's not really becoming on him. But, you know, who knows? Maybe in the days ahead we'll get some bicycle gloves, uh, maybe some shorts for him, that sort of thing. Uh, but, yeah, zero bicyclists, zero over otters. Very happy about that. So here you go. Here's the totals. We're on. One target plus one woman equals the second pillow replaced. <laughs>